Well, welcome everybody to the Mailbox Power Mastermind call that happens every Monday morning for affiliate slash now influencers in Mailbox Power. And it's all about lifting each other up because uh, rising tide lifts all ships. And so we're here to support each other. This is not the Brenda and Mike training show. Um, if that's what you're here for, um, sorry to disappoint. We're going to learn from everybody, including you. If you've never participated, we like to hear from all of you because some of you, even if you've only been in for a few days, have a different background than we do or a different background than anybody else on the call and sees things differently and it's all about sharing ideas so that we can all grow um, this customer base and grow our businesses. So with that, we always like to start the week with the wins. So anybody have any wins this week that they want to share? <laughs> and y'all just moved around. Lulu. Mm -hmm. So I, um, through the Chamber of Commerce here, they had their first um, golf outing of the year and they ordered golf balls custom golf balls and they just came out so cute <laughs> <laughs> and they, they were a big hit so it's just if if you have the executive plan and you have the ability to um they, they are not a member yet so i let you know i did it through my membership and um I expect that they're going to become members just so if you have the ability to help uh, and, and share it with the executive membership, um, it's just a way to kind of for people to see mailbox power in action yep. and make that connection. Because sometimes, you know, what we I always say, they kind of have to see it and feel it and taste it, you know. <laughs> To, yeah, really get, exactly. to really get the power of it. So um, I've partnered with them for now and um, they're going to be running things through me, but eventually they're going to have their own membership so they mm -hmm. can do it on their own. Awesome. So I thought yeah. that was a good win. And, and I got a sponsorship out of it. So I didn't just do it for nothing. Good. Nice. Yeah. Good. Awesome. And I, we talked about this two weeks ago um, because Lulu was talking about that and make sure that if you're doing that, if you have an executive account and you're doing that, you need to take into account that the 199, or if you're still on 149, that's part of the cost because that's your cost for the system. So make sure that you're not just giving it away. Um, make them want to have their own account that they can get a better, better deal. Yeah. Um, that's just my two cents. Um, speaking of taste, because that brought something to my attention, we realized over the weekend or middle to late uh, last week that the mangoes are no longer available. So if you have any automations running that have the mangoes in it, You'll want to go check those. They, um, they're no longer available and they don't know when they will be getting them back if they will get them back. So Mike and I had used those, especially in the Halloween ones, and we're a long way away from Halloween. But just make sure if you've got that in an automation, you go swap it out. Um, just FYI. I think I saw Suzanne's hand earlier. Hi. Uh, it wasn't really a win, but it was a great idea. If you want, if I can share it. Yes. Or at least I thought it was a great idea. Um, I just, lucky me, I just returned from Paris uh, this past week. <laughs> Had a wonderful time. And one of the places we visited was Monet's Garden. And it was just beautiful. All the flowers were in bloom, the azaleas, the wisteria, you know, it was just gorgeous. Anyway, I took pictures of the flowers, and when we, and as most um, places do, they end you up through the gift shop. You know how that is. You know they direct you in that way. Anyway, they had mugs, they had coasters, they had tiles, they had prints, they had all kinds of stuff with um, 
you know, pictures of the flowers and everything there. And I thought to my, and I packed very small this time, so I really couldn't buy anything bulky. And I thought, you know what? I can make coasters with the pictures that I took and I can make a mug with the pictures that I took. So that's exactly what I'm doing and going to give them to friends. I have, I'm going to a wedding at the end of the month. So I'm, I made some coasters and a couple other things for them with pictures with the flowers from Monet's garden. Awesome. So anyway, I, yeah, so I'm just um, thrilled with that. I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing how all that comes out. Awesome. Thank you for sharing. Uh -huh. I saw somebody else's hand, but they didn't put their hand up in the, did somebody else raise their hand? All right. I did not, but oh, I'll add. To Kimberly. Go ahead. Okay. So, Go ahead, Terry, since you're unmuted. Well, I do flowers from my garden for a thank you card, uh, Mother's Day, and, and I get well, like thinking of you. And they, they come out so beautifully. If you put your phone on um, portrait view to blur the background and all, they don't know where that's come from. And then I'll put real tiny, uh, tiny print or cursive I did on my latest thank you uh, card. You know, these are gar pictures from my garden. Some of them are from another year, but this year I had 2023 from my garden in 2023. So I think, you know, I've gotten comments back last year when I used some sunflowers that I had uh, and that, you know, people appreciate that and they love seeing that on the cards. So there's all kinds of things you can do like that. So the great idea, Suzanne, and so excited to have you back and your pictures were great. Thank you. Yeah, it was fun watching it. it <laughs> we lived vicariously through Suzanne <laughs> while she was traveling. Kimberly. You know, I have a member and I was doing a little hand holding. And finally, she says, I think it's about time that I really start creating and, and doing this on my own. And I'm like, yeah, thank you. <laughs> oh, and That's then awesome. I have a friend um, who's launching a, a podcast show sign up. And when we did the onboarding, because she's so tech savvy, I'd, I'd go like, look, <laughs> just get your contacts in and we'll talk again. Cause she has no problem. I don't, I have to take my hands off. So it's really important we just adjust and adapt to people's strengths and weakness. Yep. And I held on to Val, who was, you know, I was doing hand holding just long enough that she got such a result from the cards that were going out. She's in. <laughs> Thanks for allowing me to share. Yeah, thank you, Kimberly. And that <clears throat> reminds me of a few conversations I've had with our customers lately because they they dipped their feet in. They were using it just a little for nurturing or sending thank yous. Actually, one of them is a uh, detail, car detail place. And they were only using it for thank yous. And of course, I send monthly cards, nurturing. And she's she saw me at an event. She's like, you know what? I'm not using the full potential of this system. We need to meet again because I need to do more. And when I met with her, she's like, you know what you do monthly? I wish I could do something like that. I'm like, well, here, I've got a holiday automation right here. You want this? She's like, yep. I installed it in her account. And now she's got the holiday automation running, which means her clients are going to be getting something every single month. Um, so even the clients that aren't spending a lot are still being nurtured. And she realized recently that she needs to up her game because some of their clients spend thousands of dollars. And um, so she's going to up those gifts. And she's like, I really should be spent sending stuff to people who even just send spend a couple hundred dollars with us. I'm like, mm-hmm. So she's starting to get it. And I've had a few conversations like that recently. Any other wins for the week? Nanette. I have a crazy one to share with you. I have been trying to work with my dentist office to get them to understand the need for them to use mailbox power. And the wife of the dentist who runs the office, Elizabeth said secretly to me, she said, I want to make eight mugs for my husband, one for each one of the kids to give to the husband for Father's Day. And each one will have a different picture and a different logo on the bottom. 
So I will make those through my account, but it's a way, another way as Kimberly was talking about to nurture and get them to hopefully see the need for using the system, if nothing else for the semi-annual reminders for cleanings. Yep, great, love it. <clears throat> hopefully that will um, turn into a client for you. We always talk about mindset. Suzanne, yes, before I... I, I was just gonna follow on with what Nanette was talking about is that businesses today have really started relying on texting and email. And they forget about the people that don't use texting or email. Mm -hmm. And I think it's really important that we, um, you know, we tell people about that. It's like, you know, not everybody is being contacted that way. And here's an easy way to get a hold of people. Anyway, I just had to share that. Yeah. Thank I have you. some friends that, that don't have text or email. So they don't even have a computer, if you can believe that. So. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I can believe that. Most but, uh, today do us. have text, but not email. Yes, Terry. Or, well, or they have it and they don't want to use it for business. Right. They don't want uh, to be bothered with that and don't, you know, don't let ones contact them, even though they have email and text. So it's just always a third option for people. They don't realize and they'll bring in business. Yep. Yep. So we keep talking about mindset and I truly believe that that's the nut that needs to be cracked. Um, we will have one of our newer affiliates on next week to talk about his um, win. I, I'm like, I was trying to think of the right word, but I'll just use win. <clears throat> but I've had conversations with so many people, Paul Russo, Lulu, um, Brad, who will be on next week. And just a small tweak in language um, makes all the difference in the world. And I had posted out in the affiliate group and the customer group when to upgrade from pro to executive. <clears throat> and had a few people saying, or at least one saying, well, you know, how do you, 199 scares people off. I start and I talk to them about the 79. And in my personal opinion, this is just my opinion, the conversation of money should never come up until you're meeting with them and you know their needs. Um, and I think we get in our heads and we assume. And you know what that word does? Assume makes an ass out of you and me uh, because we assume they can't afford it. And so we start small and we think, ah, oh, I don't even know if I can get a pro signed up out of this. Let me see if I can at least get them on the pro and then I can upgrade them later. And it's that thinking that kept Mike and I held back for a very long time. Very long time. We thought the system was expensive. It was our own mindset is that, wow, that's a lot to spend every month. Let's talk about the smaller packages. And it's amazing once you open up that mindset to more of an abundance mindset, even in business, what can happen. Just you know, what, what happens too occasionally is when you have a limiting belief yourself and you project that onto other people, then it makes it more difficult to be able to actually help them in their business. So don't project what you feel uh, onto others. Uh, it's, it's more important to find out. Just asking simple questions about how you can help them in their business and then listening to them and see if what you have can actually help them in their business. If it can't, then you have the wrong product and you're not really going to help them. So really it is about mindset and understanding what your, what your product is and what your offering is and see if it fits with the customer. If it doesn't fit with the customer, see if you can push them uh, in, into an, somewhere, somewhere else where they can get what they need in their business and they will remember you 
They really will. Yeah, refer, 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 refer. If you're not the solution, make sure you have a list of people that can provide those other solutions when it comes to marketing. Because if you're constantly sharing who they can go to when they're ready, they're not going to look to go to anybody else that sells Mailbox Power or any other direct mail platform. They're going to come back to you. And all of that comes back to messaging again. Uh, so messaging is important and making sure you don't project your own uh, ideas of uh, what's expensive and what's not mm -hmm. onto the customer. Joseph. Yes, talking about mindset, I wasn't going to share, but uh, since you brought that up, you know, I just want to share now. And I really like to thank, I think Joe came on a couple of weeks ago talking about you always show the highest price you have. If you show the lowest price, you will never get a chance to show the high price. So that, that I think that makes a major change, a, a shift of what I'm doing uh, moving forward. Uh, Couple of weeks ago, I shared Mailbox Power uh, uh, to someone. Uh, I show both. Uh, one of the thing I hit, uh, uh, I stress on, you know, you get a uh, five by eight postcard to send out. So in the conversation, uh, in the past, I've been talking about the basic plan, the pole plan, you know, the $79, whatever, you get a four by six postcard, you get unlimited and all that. And then as we were talking, said, well, I have been doing six by nine, the large card, you know, I need the five by eight. So to give a long story short, you know, he signed up as an executive. During the conversation, I spoke with him about um, getting a business partner to get on. Not only that, I did not even realize, last week I was going into my, uh, my portal, I checked it out, I did not talk to him at all. He signed up somebody else as an executive power, uh, uh, executive member under him last week. And I need to go to talk to him today because I, <laughs> I want to congratulate him. So once again, it's the mindset that people need that because that's the surface. Then I never thought about in my mind before I approached him, I would never thought he would go for the executive. So I just want to... So Thank that, you. The, the mindset of that. That's yeah. a perfect yeah. example, Joseph. Yeah. And um, a lot of people do focus on the four by six postcard, and that's why um, they sign up a lot of pros. But what I want you to do when you're meeting with somebody is I want you to have both sizes. If you want yeah. to grab, hold on, <clears throat> you want to grab the big one too. You have three different sizes and you say to the customer, because so many people say, but why would I want to do the middle one? Why would I want to do that one? And I say to him, I'm not going to answer that question. You're going to answer it for yourself. If you got this postcard in the mail versus this postcard in the mail, which one are you going to pay attention to more? Yeah. I did, you know, I showed them my uh, five by eight postcard. I also showed mm -hmm. them this is the one I have a dynamic QR code. Mm -hmm. And those are the two things he wants to do on his business. Mm -hmm. So he jumped on right away for that. I really needed that. Because yep. I said, well, I just test this postcard on my example. As soon as someone scanned it, I got noticed. He was really impressed with that. That's the time I need to follow up with my prospect when they scan. So I, that's what it is. Yeah. I love that, Joseph. And I am going to recommend, just like Joseph has, I have a card. This one was returned to me. You can see the yellow sticker. But this is one that I sent out with the dynamic QR code. And what I've been doing, if you have not done this, send one to yourself. And I want you to have the person, when you're meeting with them, scan the QR code and hold your phone right next to it and let them see the text notification. That yeah, that's what I did exactly. Right, the mm -hmm. dynamic QR code I show him uh, uh, on that. Thank you. Yeah, that now, confirmed what I did. I was going to talk to uh, Bob uh, uh, also too, see if this is the sample that he had. He, he put it down on the chat mm -hmm. there. That's the dynamic QR code that yep. I got usage of it. Yeah. Awesome. Dahlia, no, Canva does not. 
That is directly through Mailbox Power. I did a video because so many people with the dynamic QR code think they need to go build the QR code in Canva or someplace else and put it in the system. If you do that, you will not get the notifications. Canva doesn't give those notifications to you. QR code generator doesn't give them to you. Most of the QR code software out there, unless you are spending a lot of money per month for the service, is not going to tell you who scanned that QR code. They're going to tell you it was scanned, but they're just going to tell you how many times. So if I had the old system and no, di no dynamic QR code, and it was just here without the analytics... I would I would learn that five people scanned it or 10 people scanned it, but not who scanned it. So that is why you want to have an executive account with Mailbox Power. Um, it's amazing. You get the text, like Joseph said, right on your phone, and it'll give you all of the information that's in the Mailbox Power account. So if I have your phone number and email along with your address, obviously I have your address, if I have those, the text message gives me all of your contact information that I have in the system, which I think is huge. And that is an executive member only. Uh, only. Okay. Yes. So that helps you sell that package. It's I, I think there's tremendous value in just that so, businesses. And hey, one, one question. Yep. Can I ask a question? So if you don't have their phone number in the system in your system. Does it tell you the cell no. phone number they scan it from? No, it can't because okay. it created a QR code for the contact for record in Mailbox Power. And so what it's doing is it's telling when you send out to all those people, whatever mm -hmm. you have in the Mailbox Power system, you will get. Okay, that's good to know. Thank you. If you want systems that tell you their phone number and their email those are, ex trust me, go research it. You're talking three, $400 a month just for that. Some of them are higher. I looked at one that was $750 a month to get that information. So Mailbox Power Executive Account is very affordable for businesses. And the minute you understand that our system is pennies compared to other systems, and the cost um, for marketing, that's when everything will change. Um, that is what I talked to. Uh, he's going to come on next week, Brad. And he has a presentation coming up this Friday. So I was talking to him about a few things. And I said, the dynamic QR code. He said, but that's available on the Pro. And if you notice, it does say the dynamic QR code is available on the Pro. But the analytics and the tracking is not there. So what you have is the individual level. Remember on the contact record where you could put a website that would generate a QR code? That is available to our pros. But if somebody scans it, they're not going to know who scanned it. It just creates a unique link based on that person's record. And if you go to automations, this is the other thing I've had a lot of questions about, but I don't see where I put that in. It must be an automation. Let me say that again. It must be an automation. You will not get that at checkout. Many people are building a card and putting it in the cart and adding a group to it. And during the checkout phase, they're not finding where they can put that website in to create the dynamic QR code. You have to do it in an automation. Even if you plan on only sending one card, although... I don't recommend that. I always recommend an automation with multiple touches. But even if you're just doing a single postcard or a single card out, it's got to be an automation to take advantage of that feature. So I thought I'd share that because I've had three questions in the last few weeks about that. Um, and as I said, out on our YouTube channel, there are tons of training videos and there's one out there on the dynamic QR code. Um. And just talking about that and having him show somebody it scanned, sold an executive package for him. So 
um, it that's huge. Any other <laughs> questions? Uh, actually, before before I open up for questions, so I want to go back to the Facebook post that I made and <laughs> um, talking about not talking about money until you're in front of them in a meeting. So you're out networking. And I think this is can be a challenge, especially for those of us who sell a product, a single product or something. Maybe we've done network marketing and we've done doTERRA or maybe we're promotional products or something like that. And they're always like, but what does it cost? And you're going to get that. You're going to be out networking and you say you've got a great system to find your ideal client and keep them so that they don't end up out the back door to your competition. And they're like, oh, that sounds awesome. How much is it? And before I answer, I'm gonna let a few of you answer how you would answer that question. Anybody brave enough to share? I know what I would do. Oh, let's let oh, go ahead. Kimberly and go ahead. <clears throat> Well, now's not the time or place because I really can't accentuate the value before we go into the cost. I love that. Yep. Lulu. Yeah. And I, I say, well, it's basically, you know, I need to know what, you know, you need to see it and you, and then we need to assess your needs before we can talk about cost because mm -hmm. it won't mean anything to you if you don't know what you're paying for. <laughs> right. Awesome. I love that answer. Nanette. I'd love to sit down and share the capabilities of our system with you so I can better help you solve some of your connection problems. Awesome. But how much does it cost? How many of you have gotten that? Suzanne? Oh, I was just going to say, um, I would just flat out say it's quite affordable. I love I love that one. Yep. I'd yeah. use that one. <laughs> Lulu, you were gonna say something. I don't know. I don't remember. But what does it cost? You you come back with your statement and they say, but seriously, what does it cost? How am I gonna know why why should I take time out of my schedule to meet with you if it's something that I can't afford? I've never really had anybody say quite I that, have. but not really? exactly like that, but yes. <laughs> so, well, I, you know, and I say, I say like a lot of times you'll get real estate agents or whatever. And I'll say, you know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't try to sell me a house without me seeing it or knowing the specs <laughs> or, knowing, or yes. knowing what, or what my <laughs> needs are or whatever. Like, so I'm not going to try to talk to you about this until I know if it's even something you know, that's worth it for you. Yep. Awesome. Nanette. Sorry, I forgot to take my hand down. Oh, okay. Bob. I think the best thing to do is to answer the question with a question. Uh, what, what's your budget? Uh, how important is cost to you? You know, find out more because they're giving you a piece of information, but they're not giving you all the details and you need more information about where they are before you can answer that question. Awesome. I great love point. it. That's a they great have point. used that one before. Linda. I think I normally say, well, it depends on what you want to do. Let's talk about what you, what you have in mind and then you can better decide um, what, you know, what, what makes the most sense for your, for your budget. Exactly. So that's usually how I answer. Somebody says to me, but how much is it? And I I say to them, we have several different levels of membership. And I always say membership. We have several different levels of membership. And I'd really love to sit down and do a free consultation with you to figure out what your needs are and see if we solve the problem um, that you have in your business. And then based on your needs, I can help you decide what membership is best for you. 
And if it's not the right system for you, I have a whole team of marketing experts that I can direct you to them. That way, when you when you share like that, they're like, oh, well, then it's worth my time to sit down with them. Because even if that solution isn't the right one for me, they've already set it up that they have a whole team of people behind them that they can refer to you. So it's not a waste of their time. Does that make sense? Perfect sense. Awesome. And like I, what I was going to say is really what it's going to cost you initially is just an hour of your time. So I can show you what the value is. And also the other cost that it might help you prevent is losing a valued customer. So if you give me the time, well, I can mm. show you the value of the system and wow. then you can decide whether or not you want either the executive or the pro account but I need to show you first. Yep. Does that help? Yes. I know that I've just, I've had so many people in the last three to four weeks. It started, well, Lulu was several months ago and then Paul Russo and then Brad, and there's been some others that have reached out to me and said, I'm, I've met a lot of people out networking and I haven't signed anybody up and they could all use this system. And so we start to have a conversation or Brad had signed one up, but he had a lot of people interested that said, oh, I love this, but never signed up. And he's like, what am I doing wrong? I must be doing something wrong. And again, most of those people were focusing on the pro account and there is so much value. There is so much added benefit in the executive account. And that's why I wanted to put that post because if you noticed, it's just double, basically. If you do 79 times 12, yes, you could do a 790 for the pro, but I did it based on $79 a month. At $79 a month times 12, and then doing the 1990, it's about the same, like double. So double it, but you go from 600 cards to 2,400 cards. So 600 would be 1,200 if you doubled it. Like you're exponentially increasing your benefits with the ex executive account. And I don't think people... I think they need to see the numbers over and over again in many different ways to understand the value of the executive, especially if you are currently on a pro membership, because obviously you don't see the value of the executive. You're not paying for the executive, so you find it hard to sell the executive. Don't get lost in just talking about the free cards, though, because yeah. most businesses... They could care less about cards. What they care about is getting their message to prospects to bring business in the door. So your, your messaging should be about marketing. It should be about bringing customers in the door. And once you do that, then you can start talking about nurturing their database. But talk about marketing because that's what businesses want. That's, but, that's what they're looking for. And you can use cards for marketing. Yes, you can. But just make sure that the messaging is included, that you can use the cards for the me for right. marketing. And I just don't want you to get focused on, on cards and not understand the value of the cards and the message that needs to accompany that. Yep. <clears throat> Automated follow-up. Automated follow-up with your prospects to keep in front of them till they're ready to buy from you can be what you use the cards for, one of the uses. All right. Uh, oh, I just saw the time. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like it's a wrap. <laughs> um, hopefully you all have an amazing week. We look forward to these every single Monday morning. Thanks for those who share. Um, if you haven't shared yet, we look forward to hearing from you in the future because we definitely can learn from each other. We all have different backgrounds. So with that, go have an awesome week. Go sign up an executive 
uh, 90 day package and uh, watch what happens to your check. There you go. <laughs> Thanks. Is that 